Hello! Today our theme is four or more hit the floor. So our challenges are all on the floor. The or more part is because it is also our hundredth day of 2020. So to celebrate that, everything we are doing is going to revolve around the four and the 100. The first thing we have are pikes, and I want you to hold it for 100 counts. See what you can do and how long you can hold it for. So a reminder, you want everything nice and straight. Make sure you're not lifting up, letting things sink or rolling your shoulders. You want it just straight. And you want to try to hold that for 100 counts. If you so choose, you can try to roll that to the side, but I would also like to challenge you to just hold that position. For those who need to do an adjustment on that to alleviate strain on our wrist or our hands, you can also do the plank position and keep your elbows on the ground. So feel free to adjust it. Most of you know from class that if I've given you an alternative, what you're able to do for those. Our next challenge then is our V-sits. I want you to practice grabbing onto each of your feet, stretch everything out, and make sure that you're keeping everything lengthened and try to hold it. Again, for 100 counts. Our third set is back up and hold. So you can either do this with no hands where you just lift your arms off the ground and hold it, or you can hold your arms here for those who have a bar or a countertop, and you can use that. And I want you to try to hold that for 100 counts. All right. Our fourth and final set then for today would be holding our splits. I want you to do your right split, your left split, and your center split. For your right and left, I want you to hold 25 counts on your right, 25 counts on your left, and then I want you to hold for 50 counts center. For those of you who have been practicing your jazz splits, you're more than welcome to do those instead. If you are practicing your turned out splits, practice those. If you're practicing the parallel splits, practice those. These are a little open-ended, but I still want them to challenge you. So if you find one is trickier than another, or you want to just have options to expand on, feel free. A final reminder, because most of these are stretching and things of that nature, make sure that you're doing this on a warm body. We never want to do moves like these cold. So the V sit can be <laughs> a little rough if you have not warmed up properly. And especially for your backs, you want to make sure that you've limbered up considerably so you aren't straining your back and especially for the splits you don't want to just be dropping into the splits on a cold body i will see you tomorrow with another challenge and happy 100th day of 2020